very this morning. Varies are passage migrants coming through, passing through, passage, on their way north to breed. Canadian flycatcher. There's still some white throat sparrows moving through and yellow rump warbler as well, I had two this morning. We're just on our way to the station and there's uh, an orchard oriole singing. We also saw this great crested flycatcher carrying nesting material, which is evidence of breeding. Saturday 6th of May, back out on the Hall River, doing one of my favorite 20 mile radius sites. Uh, Bynum Bridge. Some Italian just singing up there. So we're gonna get back on the bridge and see if we can see any raptors. There's normally bald eagle, osprey, um, and there has been some passage broadwing hawks here. So we stuck around for a bit of time. Saw the two two um, broadwing hawks, which is cool. Sandpiper. In all probability, this individual has come in from the Caribbean and is heading up to breed in the boreal forests of Canada. And they're one of a few species that actually nest in trees, more specifically, old songbird nests.
Kentucky warbler singing right by the road. There you go. So it's quarter past six on the 13th of May, so it's a global big day. And as I haven't done any wetland sites, I've come to Falls Lake this morning. Little spray calling over there. And obviously the spring shorebird records coming out this place. Uh, practically non-existent because the water level's pretty high. But I thought I'd uh, come and check it out anyway. There's oven bird and yellow-throated warbler and an Acadian flycatcher calling. Whiteside Viria. Some good habitat here at Mason's Farm. This is part of the Botanic Garden, UNC Botanic Garden. It can be good for yellow crown night heron down this corner. American Red Star in here. There you go. This is Pikachu, the summer tanager calling. Pikachu. Great coats of flycatcher. An American Red Star. Kind of buzzy sneeze.
On this initial amphibian survey, which incidentally was carried out in one of the most diverse areas in the country for the group, we only found one species, the terrestrial or juvenile stage of the eastern newt, aka a red eft. This individual may have lived here in the leaf litter for the past two to three years, after which time they metamorphose into aquatic adults and therefore start the reproductive cycle once again. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode. We certainly had fun documenting the special places and species of our local area. So spring bird migration this year has been absolutely awesome and we've added a couple of new species for our recording areas which include veery, grey cheeked thrush and yellow warbler. However, as we head into June now, we turn our attention away slightly from the birds and onto recording more insects and herps. In June, we'll also start mapping and controlling invasive plant species, not just here at the station, but at our local sewer line site. And as I'm behind with the bird stats for May, we're going to put the totals for that month, combined with April, in next month's episode. In the meantime, thanks for watching and see you next time on the Eno Branch Biological Station.